Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. I am really excited about today's video. It's something that's been on my bucket list for a while. So for today's video, we are going to be going to Trader Joe's and taste testing all their sort of fall and like pumpkin spice goodies, all their treats that they have and other foods that they have. They're all like fall themed. I've never done this before, but I've always wanted to try to, to, try to test just like everything out like let's see what they have to offer um everyone says it's always like a fun thing to do so we're gonna try it out i have my friend who will also be helping me out we will see him later today and um yeah let's just go on into it let's let's head to trader joe's we gotta go shopping you guys can see it's literally pumpkin flavor taste test on the bucket list on the bucket list Hey guys, so I just got done at Trader Joe's. I am actually shocked at how many fall, fall autumn, pumpkin, maple-esque like products that they have. They have so many. So I feel like I got a good amount. Definitely did not get everything. There were so many. I feel like I got like a little grain of sand out of like a beach of how many products I actually got. So my friend Brent is going to a different Trader Joe's. He's going to pick up some items there and then we'll meet and test them together. We did not tell each other what we are buying. So we might have some overlap, but hopefully we have some different products and he might even have products at his Trader Joe's that my Trader Joe's doesn't carry. And they also were telling me, the workers were telling me that the autumn and like fall flavored things are actually on their way out right now. Like they're not gonna have any more like shipments or restocking of a lot of it, which did surprise me. So. Yeah, but we'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we have some good variety. Brent came in clutch. What do you have to say? Anything? Uh, we're going all out for this whole pumpkin theme video. <laughs> do you want to show everyone what you got? Or um, I can go through it. We have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a little too much. Yeah, so we got literally everything. Um, a lot of breads. Muffin mix we probably won't be able to do today, but we can do some other time. And then pastas, lots of cookies, I feel like. A haunted house thing that we can make. I think this is cute. It's like a gingerbread house. Put it for Halloween. So yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm most excited for, honestly, I'm excited for the pumpkin ravioli with the um, pumpkin Alfredo sauce. I think that's gonna be really yummy. What are you most excited for? I'm excited for this. However, I don't think it's gonna taste any different than normal pasta. Yeah. Pasta's pretty, you know, it's pretty pretty average but we'll see how it goes we actually have so much we're probably gonna have to do another round tomorrow because we have like i underestimated how much stuff that we would have but <clears throat> okay so we're gonna try this pumpkin spice bagels we both smelt them and it smelled very pumpkin. pumpkin-y <laughs> it was a little too so much we're gonna do it out of five or out of ten let's do it out of five which one did you open ah uh, this one this one and we're gonna put the pumpkin butter on it. So, let's <laughs> see, I hope it tastes good. It looks like honey. So you try the bagel by itself? Sure, if you want. Let's see how it tastes by oh, itself. Oh, you're so formal. <laughs> how is it? That's pretty good. It's, it's fine, yeah. I like that. Wow. I actually That's do really like that. Sweet. It's very sweet. But I do like it. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, what do you give the well, bagel and pumpkin butter out of five? Out of five pumpkins? I'm gonna give Super. it a three and a half. What do you what would you give it? I give it a combination, probably like a four. Really? But the pumpkin butter really just makes it taste made it taste good and yeah. like the bagel is just like uh, whatever. The bagel is okay. Pumpkin butter, I would buy again, <laughs> you know? Um, oh, we gotta try the pumpkin spice cashew yogurt. <laughs> okay. I'm not actually thinking this is gonna taste good, but it is dairy-free. Um, and I feel like dairy-free yogurt, only the almond milk ones taste good. How's it smell? It smells fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
That didn't sound very good. How is it? Um, I don't like it. <laughs> Do you like it? It's not bad. It's like pretty mild, so it's not very pumpkin. -y. I feel like it's kind of sour. It's decent. I want to like it. I don't really like it either. But I don't. I give this a one. I give it a two. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two out of five pumpkins. Yeah, not my fave. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next thing we have up on the list is pumpkin ravioli, which we have. And then we put pumpkin alfredo sauce with it as well. So I'm a little, um, I'm excited for this one actually. I think it's gonna be yummy. It's very orange, which makes me like, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. Like maybe it's like a sweet potato type thing. Mm. I didn't get very much filling. <laughs> I just got straight noodle. <laughs> It's like a little sweet, which I don't really like, but you don't like? it might just be the sauce, right? It could be the sauce. I like this. Really? Yeah. I'm a big fan. I'll try some with just the sauce. I like the, I like the sauce. Really? Yeah. I think it's the filling in the that's, pumpkin ravioli that's sweet. Oh, it is. I just tasted it. Yeah. Some. But I like it. Mmm. <clears throat> I love the Alfredo sauce. I don't like the ravioli. Okay. So Alfredo sauce, I'd give five pumpkins out of five pumpkins. I'll give it 4.5 out of five. 4.5? Ravioli, I think I'd also, I'd probably <clears throat> give it like a 4.7. The ravioli, um, 3.5. Wow. You lowballed it. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so good. This Alfredo sauce is like... The best thing we've had so far. Yeah, it's so yummy. Mm. Okay, pumpkin spice, pumpkin seeds. I like pumpkin seeds regularly, like normally. Oh, they're very sweet. I thought they're gonna be like savory. Yeah, they're a little. They're so good. Sweet. It's like the Halloween or fall version of those sugared or cinnamon almonds that you get at <coughs> the mall around Christmas time. The second most used ingredient is sugar. So. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't it's know, very it's like sweet, very candied. Very, yeah, pumpkin, it's like a candy seeds. pumpkin seed. Um, um, I give it a two point five out of five. Really? Yeah. I give it a four out of five because I like. I just don't think I could have very like the amount I had was probably perfect in my hands. I just think they just kind of wreck the pumpkin flavor with just sugar so that's true you don't taste any of the pumpkin really at all okay we got ouch harvest chili <laughs> and it has all sorts of goodies in it let's see it's so hot black beans butternut squash cauliflower and sweet potatoes simmered with pumpkin puree and chili spices okay yeah, let's just try it by itself yeah just gonna get a really, it's like steaming and I think it's gonna burn my mouth. I didn't even cook it for the full time it said. Is it hot? Too hot? Mm. It's not too hot. Okay. I think there's, there's definitely quinoa in here. Two's pretty good, but it's more like. It's super hearty. Yeah, it's like less, it's not very pumpkin. -y. It's not pumpkin-y, but it's oh, definitely like a it's harvest. It's squash, that's why. Yeah, it's like a, it's still like a fall themed <laughs> thing. I don't think they have it regular. It's not a regular season item. So yeah, it mostly tastes like squash, so it's pretty good. I give it a... I like it. 3.5 out of 5. I give this a, a solid 4.5. Like I would eat this. You could put it in a bread bowl it or with good. like a roll or something. It's not pumpkin flavored. But it's definitely like a good like fall, winter, hearty, warm soup, I think. And it's got so much stuff in it too that it's gonna like really fill you up. Mm. Is she pretty good? I really like it. 
I changed it to four out of five. Really? You're going to change your score? <laughs> I like it. I'm, I'm glad. It's actually really good. I know. It's so yummy. I'm going to have another bite. Okay. This is the pumpkin brioche twist. Um, it's a classic French style brioche with a hint of spices. So um, it says that you can put nut butter on it. So we could put our pumpkin butter, but um, I think we'll try it without first. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the swirl of cinnamon. I think that's cinnamon. Should split one in half. No, split one in half. Let's split this one. There's your slice. Thanks. It smells yummy. Ooh. That's way good. Mm, that is so good. It's a really, it's like cinnamon bread. Yeah, that's like perfect, honestly. Yeah, because it has just a hint of like a uh, pumpkin. Uh huh. Mm, that's good. I it's wonder what it tastes like sweet. with the chili. It's not too sweet either. It's like perfect. Mm. I love bread with chili, even if oh, it's too. The <laughs> Pumpkin butter is a little too sweet, but I thought it was really good. It should be like pumpkin jam instead, right? Pumpkin jam. That's yeah. a better job. Yeah. I don't know why I call it pumpkin butter. <laughs> the pumpkin butter is good, but I'm gonna give I the bread a five out of five. I prefer the bread without the butter. I do too. I give it a five out of five. Really? Well. <laughs> yeah. Max, cheers. That's a little. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So that's like perfect. It's so good. Okay, this is the pumpkin spice baton. So we'll see how it tastes. Kind of like a perolini, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I don't like... know. <laughs> I don't taste the pumpkin. I mean, I kind of do. Yeah, it's not very pumpkin-y. It's like, it's just it, kind of like It just tastes like cream. Uh, yeah, just like cream. So, I mean, if you want to be like more festive, I guess, but otherwise. It tastes like cream cheese, so I would maybe drink it with, or eat it with something sweeter, I guess. Yeah. But it's not that good. What are you giving it? I give it a three out of five, 2.5 out of five. I think I'm gonna give it a three and a half because I still liked it. It's it good. just wasn't like what I was expecting. Yeah. This is the product. <laughs> Who knows how good it is? It's got like icing on top and stuff. So, yeah. I'll we'll try it. All right. It has pecan, so if you have a nut allergy, don't eat it. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't taste like brownies. I know. I was about to say, it just tastes like bread. It's like pumpkin bread with like pecans. Yeah. I give it a two out of five. Same. I don't love it. I like the um, the twist loaf a lot better. So we're trying, well, I've already tried these. I've already tried both of these actually. So have I. So is Brent, but we're gonna rate it for you again <laughs> anyway. These I'm are the sorry. fall leaf chips from Trader Joe's. And they're so cute. They look like leaves. Sorry, you take one. They look like leaves. And then we're gonna yeah. have it with the fall harvest salsa as well. And try it by itself first. Honestly, they're not the best corn tortilla chips, I feel like. Like you can get way better corn tortilla chips. So by itself, I give it like a three it and a half. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's like black corn or something. Yeah. It has a strong corn yeah. flavor. Yeah. I'm just gonna get this put the salsa in the lid. But I think they're fun to have like during fall time just because they're different. You know? Yeah. I do like the salsa. It does have a kick. I'm not a big fan of salsa in general. Um, so like I don't know if I will if I will buy the salsa again if it's just me. But if I'm like entertaining, I would buy it just because it's this salsa is amazing. You like <laughs> it is a little like slightly slightly spicy. It's not really bad though. Um, I give this salsa a five out of five. Really? I yeah. give it a three out of five. But I just don't like salsa. I like really sweet salsas, and this is not super and then the sweet. The corn chips like three out of five. 
I think I gave them three out of five. I think they're not good unless you have something to dip them in. Yeah. Okay, these are the petite pumpkin spice cookies. They are shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. And Brent already opened them. <laughs> Did he already have one? No. Oh, what? <laughs> They remind me of like the animal cookies, oh, you know, the circus, the circus yeah, the, the circus ones. They're cute. I mean, they look like a little pumpkin. <laughs> but hmm. mm. tastes like ginger. That's probably what it is. Honestly, I don't think I can taste anything because that salsa burned my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Palette cleanser. Not a big fan. Um, I like them. <laughs> I give it a two out of five. I'm gonna give it a three point seven out of five. Well, why? I like. I feel like there's a little bit of saltiness in here, which I think works. Maybe, maybe not. But I, that's what I'm tasting. So I, I like it. But also, like, it does taste like those animal cracker cookies that are covered in the icing and I don't love those, so, yeah. It tastes like ginger and I probably wouldn't eat more than one because uh, that's enough to try it. All right. <laughs> okay, we'll start with the pumpkin flavored Jojo's. And maybe we do these at the same time because these are the Halloween ones and then these ones are just fall, <laughs> but they're the same thing, right? Like the, they're basically Oreos. But they're yeah. different, like they're different flavors. They're different. So we'll try okay. with them at the same time though. These ones are, yeah, the pumpkin flavored ones that are just fall themed. And they're cute. They got little, like, it looks like a little pumpkin pie or something. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Mm. They're good. You know what Those I was really, really hoping to see? Maybe they don't have this until Christmas time. But you know, like the maple leaf. Oh no, they cookies. have them all the time. I didn't see them. I walked around that store like five yeah. times. I love those. I think those are so good. These are good too. I'm gonna give these a four out of five. Actually, no, I'm gonna give it a three out of five because I feel like I could only eat one or two at a time. Mm -hmm. I think these are amazing. I give it a four out of five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if these ones are any different. These are the yeah. Halloween JoJo's and um, I think they're so cute because they got little faces on them. Are they different or the same? I think they are different, maybe not. <laughs> All right, and Let's they're, see. you know, cheers. Oh, uh, yeah, they're different. Uh, oh, they are. Oh, are we, yeah, yeah they're they different, are. okay. Those taste like the regular JoJo's that they have at Trader Yeah, they do. Maybe they just died different. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of those. No, let me see. I give this 2.5 out of 5. I'm going to give it, yeah, probably the same. 2.5 out of 5. Maybe if I have yeah, some I milk. I wouldn't eat a lot. Me neither. If I have milk, probably be different. Yeah. Okay. Last item for right now is the pumpkin spiced Jojo's in a yogurt flavored coating with sea salt. So we'll see how these turn out. <laughs> wow. These are pretty good cookies. They are, it looks, yeah. It's like pretty tall. I don't like that. Really? Do you like it? Mm. I don't like it. I don't really like it either. It just tastes like the icing. It's just super sugary and processed, I feel like. And so I'm not a big fan. It's like mostly just, just cream. It just tastes like sugar. It's mostly cream and just not yeah. too much cookie. Not a fan. I'd I give it a it one, one out of five. Uh, I'd give it a two out of five. All right. It's decent, mm. but there's too much cream. All right, guys, we will be back tomorrow for round two where we eat the rest of the stuff. We'll kind of have to prepare a few things, I feel like, in what advance. Were the best things, what was the best thing so far? The best thing today for me, uh, I really liked <clears throat> the twisted bread. I loved the ravioli and the Alfredo. 
I think the Alfredo was the best for me. It was ever. so good. Yeah. I also yeah. liked the Harvest Chili. That was good. Wasn't too. a big fan of all the sweets, but um, this was the best thing we tried. It was yummy. So excited to see what we like tomorrow. Okay, we'll be back soon. <laughs> all right, it's going. Okay, today, or I guess for the second time, we're gonna try even more pumpkin products. Um, so what we will try today is this pasta. Pardelli. Pa Pardelli. <laughs> they kind of look like snakes is what we said. And they come um, like hooked together like a, well wait, this one's on, like, this one's broken, but you can see how it's like curved, like they're, hmm, like tongs or something. Yeah, it's just showing the cooked product. It looks disgusting. <laughs> I think it looks disgusting. <laughs> I also don't know, like, I didn't know how to cook this type of noodle. Like, if you just cook it regularly, what it's supposed to taste like. Um, but that's what it looks like. So, we have the noodle, and then we are going to pair it with pumpkin bisque, also from Trader Joe's. So, should we try yeah. the noodle by itself or no? Yeah, I can try the noodle by itself. Do you think it'll taste any different than regular noodle? I think it will probably taste the exact same. I don't know about the texture though. Like the texture might go. The texture might not be. It kind of just looks like velvety. Right, try it without any pasta sauce. Mm, Is it done? It tastes a little different. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it tastes like a noodle. Yeah. It just okay. tastes like a noodle. I think right, it I'm does. gonna try it with sauce. Okay. Mix it up like you're in Italy. We'll see how this tastes. I don't love the smell. I'll be real with you. I really don't love the smell. Yeah, it's not that good. I'm just gonna have a little one. I don't know why I got so much in here. It's decent. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. What do you okay. think? I have many thoughts. <laughs> I don't like the noodles, I think. I Well, okay. I don't like it together. Separately, I think the soup's actually, the bisque is good. You think so? I just don't think it's good with this. Like, if it was literally just this and, like, a bread bowl or something, or you just, like, do this with, like, some rolls, mm -hmm. I think it'd be fine. So the bisque, I'm going to give a four out of five pumpkins. The bisque, I'll do... Just by itself. 3.5 out of 5 pumpkins. I don't love the noodles. And the, yeah, the noodles, 2.5 out of 5 pumpkins. Yeah, I would say the same, probably. What I do like about the pumpkin bisque is I don't feel like it's like overly pumpkin. Like it's got a lot of different spices in it. And it's kind of sweet. Yeah. So I like that aspect of it. It's kind of sweet and I don't really like that. That's fine. It tastes kind of funny. Our next thing we're gonna try is the autumnal harvest soup. And this one, like, I feel like the bisque didn't have, like it was just like a soup. It reminded me of like a sauce just cause there's nothing in it. Um, but this soup has like, it has pumpkin and butternut squash. Like it's chunky. You can't even see, but it's chunky. So careful. <laughs> <laughs> so I have higher hopes for this one just cause I feel like it's a little bit heartier. And it smells good. Does smell like good. it smells really good. It's like a tomato soup. It's tomato based soup, but it has pumpkin and butternut squash in it. So Ooh, that's very hot. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's good. I like that. It's like an interesting combination of flavors. It's like tomato y and like squashy. So it's just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> tomato based soup with butternut squash. <laughs> It's good. It's kind of different. It is different. Can't I feel it. like, I wonder if a noodle would be good in here. I'm gonna try. That's really good. I would give this a four out of five pumpkins. Mm. Maybe even 4.5. I think I'm gonna give it a four and a half as well. I really like it. That's really good. I would definitely get, get this again and buy it again. And with the noodle, it's not bad. Yeah. So. We're down to our last three items. <laughs> okay. Down to our last three items. 
Um, what do you want to do first? Um, chocolate covered espresso beans. All right, I'm gonna try some espresso beans. Yeah. I don't want to try it. Are you sure? Yeah, but you give us your honest opinion. It's too strong for me. Here's the thing: I don't like. I've never had other espresso beans. I've never had coffee, so I don't know what to like compare it to. I don't like it. You don't like it? Well, no, it's just too strong. Strong with what? Pumpkin or? It's like coffee flavor. Really? Like big time. It's like, I'll give it a two out of five pumpkin. I don't recommend it. The pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. And, oh my gosh, I can smell it. Really? Yeah, just when you open that, I could smell it. Oh. Um, all right, do you want to split one? Yeah, look at there's like is there something in here? Are they uh, are they stuffed? No. What are Madeline cookies made out of? Flour. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, they're just flour, sugar, and eggs. Hmm. You like them? Yeah, they're pretty good. It reminds me of like a pumpkin cookie. Yeah, it's like so it's just not chocolate. Cookie. <laughs> It's like pumpkin cookie and different texture. I feel like I would like it more if it, like I feel like it's just very dense, not dense, cause it's light, but like it's just one flavor, like there's nothing else. So like if they had chocolate on top of it or something, that might be a little bit better. I think these are amazing. <laughs> Good, you can take them home. I give it a- You give it five pumpkins. 4.5, honestly, <laughs> Have you given anything five pumpkins? Yeah. What did you, what did you give? The Alfredo oh. and the brioche bread. Oh, yeah. Mm, that was good. Yeah, I'll give this five out of five pumpkins. You heard it here first, ladies it's, and it's gentlemen. Amazing. <laughs> good texture, good flavor, not overbearing. Just tastes like a pumpkin cookie with a different texture, honestly. Yeah. I would probably give it a four out of five pumpkins. Just because... I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just not a super big, like I don't love muffins um, or like the thicker big cookies because it's just like too much I feel like and this is like a good, it's almost too much for me which is why I'm not gonna give it a five. It's too much. But it's still yummy, like it's I'm still, still eating it. So. Okay, we are down to our last item. This is the item I've, I've been looking forward to because you posted about this on your Instagram story. I actually, spoiler alert, I tried these and they're really good. You like them? These are the chocolate mousse pumpkins and they look so yummy. So funny thing, this actually doesn't have any pumpkin flavor in it, I don't think. Really? Well, well velvety, yeah, velvety chocolate, chocolate cakes laid with silky mousse. I think the only pumpkin thing about it is that it's shaped like a pumpkin. It's like colored like a pumpkin. Yeah, it looks like one. They're super cute. That's what they look like. They're super cute. I like how they look. So presentation-wise, I give it five out of five. You know? All right. Okay. I'm actually really excited. Last bite. Last one. Last bite, best bite. <laughs> Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. Ooh. Has like the perfect texture. Yeah, the inside it's got. Here's what I like about it. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. I will say that. it's like definitely just like a chocolate. But the the mousse to like look our dough ratios are way different. Ratio. Well, look. oh that's true. Well, you kind of push right down. No. Well, look on the side. Like I feel like I like that's what I like. <laughs> so that way it's it's a very good ratio. I I like it. You got more mousse than I did, but I know. The texture's amazing. Doesn't taste like pumpkin, it's pure chocolate, but five out of five. Five out of five. Hands down. Oh yeah. Great way to to end the video. Don't you think? These things are amazing. Would recommend. They're a little sweet, but they're really good. So let's go over our overall favorites out of everything that we liked okay. everything that we tasted um <clears throat> i'll be honest i liked the soups i liked the autumn harvest soup i also liked the um harvest chili that we had yesterday i thought that was really good my favorite things were the alfredo oh yeah that was yummy uh the brioche bread um the autumn soup slash pasta sauce and this Oh yeah, and this the chocolate yeah. mousse. 
This was the best dessert out of everything that we tried, like out of all the cookies and everything. This was the best. But the brioche also was super yummy. Yeah. Yeah, I think we kind of had those same things. I also, I did like the ravioli. I know that you weren't a huge fan. Yeah, the ravioli but... was too sweet. Also notable is... Honorable mentions. Yeah, the honorable mention is actually, I don't know, the pumpkin butter. It was like pumpkin jam. It was pretty good, but also like, I don't know, to be used only on certain food. Yeah. Not on everything. I also, I did like the spiced cider, the apple spiced cider. Um, it is very strong though. And so I feel like it's only for like certain drinks. Um, I don't know if I'd have it every. All right, what are the worst day. items? The absolute worst things that we had. I can't remember now. <laughs> I, like I think it was the yogurt. Oh, I forgot about the yogurt. <laughs> that was nasty. <laughs> yogurt? Yeah, that was so gross. Don't get that. Um, what else? I didn't love the blondies yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, they weren't even brownies at all. They were just... Honestly, I can't even remember what we had yesterday now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah. Didn't... And then, like, the straws. I thought those were fine. They were decent, but it was nothing special. Yeah. So. But yeah, we don't recommend the yogurt or... Yeah, don't get the yogurt <laughs> at all. Um, or the blondies that they have at Trader Joe's. Blondies Jones. aren't worth it. But oh. everything else, I mean, if you like pumpkin flavored things, I think all of this is good to try. So. I don't yeah. recommend the espresso beans either. <laughs> it's a little too powerful. Thanks for joining me today, Brent. You're welcome. <laughs> if you guys want Brent back on the channel, make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> and leave a comment. And if you don't, that's fine too. No, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not an option, to I guess. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll see you next week.